So we've had quite a bit of rain. So I finally got Panda work in here. And I'm pretty excited about this because uh, the Teensy 4.1, uh, it runs a whole lot faster than the, um, the Arduino. And uh, just this thing is very real time. So what's going on is the uh, IMU is being fused live with the GPS and being sent as this one custom sentence. And uh, no wonder it improves uh, performance as much as it does. Can't wait to get it on the tractor once it dries up a little. So I got my Panda box. Uh, I used a SparkFun F9P. Uh, I guess I could have taken a little more time on this, but I have a feeling Panda is going to be evolving here pretty quick. So it um, it uh, it seems like it's a good system. So anyway, if I grab this box and I just kind of rock it side to side. So at any rate, we have our angle changing, our roll, right? So both the roll and the um, like the IMU heading change, but I still have a V2 board with a BNO 085 hooked up. So that's this here. So if I rock it, it changes too. And then if I turn it, it changes too. So what's going on is uh, I'm getting the average value between Panda and the original setup. So if I put the Panda box right on top, so that's how I'm gonna basically have it is on top or on another flat piece of steel. You can see they work together. So yeah, I'm just rocking it back and forth. And then if I turn it, just absolutely stable. So Panda is extremely stable and it seems the two IMUs is very stable. So I am wondering if this is gonna be absolute carnage or if it'll be Panda Plus. So we will see once it's on the tractor.